Good morning, friends. My name is JJ. I slept very well. I had this beautiful dream that Mikey and I were playing soccer together. Oh, by the way, we should wake Mikey up. He's probably still asleep. I know him. He likes to sleep in before dinner. Oh, Mikey. Hey, I was just on my way to wake you up. What a meeting. How'd you sleep? What did you dream about? I dreamt you and I were playing soccer, and it was really cool and fun. So I suggest you go play soccer outside now. Great idea, JJ. Listen, actually, I was going to ask you to play soccer, too. It's a coincidence. I have a soccer ball. Wow, Mikey, that's really cool. Well, let's not be late. Let's go play soccer. By the way, do you know the rules of soccer? I don't think I know any of the rules of soccer. JJ, don't fill your head with crap. The most important rule in soccer is to score a goal against the opponent. In my case, I need to score a goal against you. You understand? Yeah, Mikey, I hear you. All right, let's start playing soccer. Protect your goal very well or you'll lose. Ha ha. Don't make me laugh, JJ. You'll never beat me in soccer. I'm much better at this game than you are. You need to be more careful, or I'll kick the ball with such force that you'll fly into the goal like a second ball, ha ha. Yeah, well, why haven't you scored a goal for me yet? You don't seem to be that good at soccer, Mikey. You're just lucky a couple more shots and the ball will be in your goal. Then we'll see how you talk. Come on, if you were such a pro soccer player, you'd have scored a goal for me a long time ago. By the way, Mikey, where are our parents? Hey kids, good morning. It's early in the morning. Why are you up? What are you doing? Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Dad, me and Mikey woke up and decided to play soccer. It's nice weather today. Why not play? Okay, you're great. Spending time outdoors is good for you, especially playing soccer. But listen, Daddy and I have a present for you. A gift? Wow. What kind of gift will you show us? We'd love to know. Yeah, sure. Follow us. We'll show you what we have in store for you. What do you think we want to show you? Um, I don't know. Maybe some cool new soccer ball? I really have no idea what it could be. Haha, <laughs> no. Okay, you'll probably never guess what it is. Follow us. Kids. Kids, look, now we have a maid. She's gonna do all the chores for us. Wow, really? That's a real maid. She even has a maid's outfit. Hey, Maki, look at that gorgeous view she gets when she cleans. Yeah, the view is amazing. I love it. We're very lucky. Hey, are you crazy? What are you looking at? Stop staring at the maid. How awful. Sorry, Mom. We weren't really looking. We were just admiring our new maid. Look how beautiful she is. She'll clean our room and cook delicious food. Fantastic. Cool. Now I don't have to clean my room all the time. And the food is good. I'm very happy. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Now our mom won't have to clean up after us and cook for us all the time. She and Dad can spend more time together and get more work done. Yes, kids. You're right. We'll all feel much better now. That's great. Now, Daddy and I have to go to work. Don't miss us. The maid should feed you and then you can go on playing soccer. Okay, thank you so much for such a cool surprise. Have a good day, Mom and Dad. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, kids. Well, Mikey, now we're alone with the new maid. Hey, what's up, kids? You hungry? Come on, I'll feed you. Oh, yes. We are very, very hungry. We haven't eaten anything since yesterday and we still played soccer this morning. So a meal would be great. All right, wait here. I'll bring you some food, my sweeties. Okay. Hey, Mikey, look at our new maid. She's incredibly beautiful, especially in that outfit. How do you like it? Yes, JJ, I like her a lot, too. Okay, let's get to the table. Okay, kids, here's your very tasty breakfast. It's scrambled eggs and croissant and a milkshake. Hope you like it. Bon appetit, candy. Yes, thank you. It looks delicious. I see you're a good cook, right? Yes, I cook very well, and I am also good at cleaning and any household chores in general. That's actually why they hired me to work at your home. Oh, this is really delicious. Thank you very much for breakfast. How long do you plan to work with us? Oh, I don't even know. I hope for as long as possible. I really like your house and your family. And your dad is so cool and handsome. I could work here all my life, haha. Uh -huh. Our dad? Oh, strange, but okay. Mikey, how do you like our maid? She cooks wonderfully and looks simply stunning. I like her very much, too. I hope she will work for us for a long time. It was very cool. Oh, we can admire it all day, but let's go outside, take a walk, or play football. Great idea. Let's go play football. Let's continue our game and see who will win, me or you. Haha, uh -huh. but you still know that I will win? I kicked the ball much harder. You can't beat me, Mikey. Three hours later. Hello, everyone. Friends, JJ is here. Mikey and I played football all day, and finally, I beat him. We played for a very long time. I don't know what time it is, but it's already night outside. I wonder when our parents will return. I don't know. They should have already returned from work. Oh, hi, kids. What are you doing outside? It's almost night already. Have you been playing football all day? Yes. First, our new beautiful maid fed us breakfast, by the way. It was very tasty. She is a 
great cook. That's great. Okay, Dad and I are very tired. We'll go home, and you two don't stay outside. It's late. Well, Mikey, should we still play football or go home? I don't even know. Maybe let's play a little more and go home. Wait, what? Mikey, look. This is our dad. Where did he go? Hey, dad, stop. Where did you go? It's getting late now. Where are you going to go? Um, haha. I went to the shop. The maid wanted to prepare a delicious soup, but there were not enough ingredients at home. I'm scared to send your mom to the store this late, so I'd better go. Okay, dad. Bye. Look, Mikey, this is all a little weird, but okay, let's go play football. Now I'll beat you again. Haha, <laughs> weakling. Wait, what? Mikey, look again. Now the maid has gone somewhere. Hey, maid, where are you going? Something happened? Um, I'm going to the store. I'm making soup, but you don't have the right ingredients at home, so I need to go to the store. That's it. I have to hurry. I can't talk for long. Bye. Okay, let's not keep you. Go to the store quickly. Otherwise, it will close soon, and you won't have time to buy the ingredients for the soup. Listen, Mikey, don't you think all this is strange? At first, our dad left and said that he would go to the store, and literally a couple of minutes later, our new maid also went to the store. It seems to me that they may be deceiving us. Something is happening here. You and I need to follow them. Well, how long do we still have to go? Mikey, stop whining. We don't know where she's going. We have to follow her until the very very end. And the most important thing is that she doesn't see us. Otherwise, our plan will fail. We must reveal the secret that our maid and our father keep because they are hiding something. That's for sure. Listen, JJ, this is not a store at all. I don't even know what it is. Looks a lot like some kind of cool house, but this is definitely not a store. What do you think this is? Mikey, you're right. It's definitely not a store, but I don't know what it is. It looks a lot like some cool modern house, but it is not clear who it is. We need to get inside and find out what's going on here. Look quickly, JJ. This is our dad and our maid. What are they doing in this house? They told us that they would go to the store. They lied to us. Yes, Mikey, you're right. It's really our dad. What do we do now? What are they going to do with the maid? We have to follow them, Mikey. Look, they seem to be in love. Horrible. Our dad has gone crazy. He also has our mother. What is going on? Mikey, we need to follow them and then tell our mom everything. But how we do this? Our mother may not believe us because she loves dad and he can lie to her. Listen, Mikey, you always carry a video camera with you, right? You and I can sneak into their house, go up to the second floor, and take a picture of them together. So we will have evidence that they did not go to the store at all. I think if we do this, then mom will believe us. Cool idea. Well, are you ready? I open the door and we carefully go in there. Okay, Mikey, just please be very quiet so they don't hear us. Wait, what? Do you see this? Mikey, we were right. They deceived us all. They have love. How could dad do this to us and mom? What a nightmare. Mikey, quickly take a picture of all this. And quickly let's go tell mom the whole truth. Done. I took a photo. Great. Mikey, you're doing great. I hope you took some photos so that our mother will definitely believe us. Okay, let's get out of here. We need to go home quickly. How could this happen? I'm very sad. And at the same time, I'm very angry at my dad for doing this to my mom. She loves him very much, eh? Look how good the photos turned out. Come on, I'll take a look now. Wow, Mikey, you are quite a photographer. Great job. Now our task is to show these photographs to our mother and tell the whole truth about our dad. She must see it all. Great, she's just home. Now we will expose our dad. Mikey, are you ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. Let's do it. Hey, Mom. Hi. Please turn around. Mikey and I have very important news for you. Look at this photo. This is our dad and our new maid. Dad is deceiving you and all of us. What? This is true? Children, have you seen all this with your own eyes? What a nightmare. How could he do this to me? I love him all my life. I'm very sad. Thank you for telling me the truth. You are great. Mom, we are also very sad. How could he do this to us? We are his family, and he traded us for this young maid, you idiot. Mom, what should we do now? He will probably return soon. We must tell him that we know the whole truth. Oh, he just returned. Mom, go talk to him. Hello, everyone. I'm back. True, I didn't have time to get to the store. When I arrived, it was already closed. I had to return without food. And what are you doing? Get out of here and never come back again. I know everything. The children followed the maid and saw you together. You have love. How could you do this? We have been together for so many 
years, and you exchanged me for some young maid. Are not you ashamed? Go away. I don't want to see you ever again. Forget about me and the children. Leave. That's it. He finally left. I hate him. Thank you very much, children, for telling me the whole truth. I love you very much. Now the three of us are left. But on the contrary, it's better. We truly love each other. Everything will be fine with us, and let him continue to have fun with his stupid young maid, idiot. Okay, I'm really tired. I'll go rest. Well done to you, JJ. Are you happy? Yes, Mikey. I'm very pleased. We really are great fellows. We revealed the secret of our bad father and saved our mother from his lies. This is very cool. I hope he will still regret his actions and suffer. The next day... Mikey and I have been sitting around playing on the computer all day today. That's right. Our parents let us do it today. And they also bought us a new monitor. And plus, they changed the motherboard. Now the computer runs fast and smoothly. That's the way it is. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. I've got a little bit, too. Guess it's time for us to go out to eat. Let's go ask Mom to make us something delicious. That's a great idea. We'll eat and play computer again. Then let's not waste any time because my stomach is begging for food to be put in it soon. You're a strange one, JJ, talking to your belly. It's more like you're the weird one who actually thinks I'm talking to my stomach. Mom, JJ is there already communicating with his belly. We are very hungry. It's true. Could you make us something to eat? Oh, kids, you'll have to wait a little longer then. I'll have to go to the store. All right, we'll wait. Great then. I'll buy the right groceries and make a delicious lunch. That's great. What do you want to make? I will most likely make carbonara pasta. Are you okay with that? Yeah, that's a great idea. Mikey and I love it. Yay, thank you. Then wait for me. I'll try to make it quick. Okay, thank you, Mom. Bye-bye. That's great. Mom makes a great carbonara pasta. It'll be delicious. What are we going to do now while we wait for Mom? I don't know. What are some suggestions? Let's go watch TV with me. Is that what Dad's telling us from the bathroom? Yeah, boys, I'll be right out. Hey, I heard what you guys were saying. What's the matter with you two? It's okay. We were just hungry and asked Mom to go grocery shopping. It all makes sense now. All right, then. Why don't we go watch TV together? That's a great idea. Just so we can watch... Uh, cartoons? Of course, the three of us only watch cartoons together. That's great. Now we have something to do. All the more reason I wanted to take a break from the computer. And watching SpongeBob is a great pleasure. I'll agree with you on that one. All right, guys. Let's watch and stay tuned. Yeah, all right. Because you're a big talker, JJ. Be quiet. Oh, who would tell me that? All right, everybody. Let's see it. What wonderful weather it is outside. I should go indoors more often. At least go out to the store. I'm getting tired of sitting at home and doing housework all the time. Just a little more and I'll be coming to the store. Hey, pretty lady, wait a little longer. What? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Who are you? What do you want? I'm just a regular person who lives in this world. I saw a beautiful girl and would like to meet her. Would you mind getting to know me and like going out? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Think about it. I'm not rushing you. You know what? I think I might meet you. You have such a great car. What are we going to do? If you like my car, then we can drive it to my boat and get to know each other better. How about that? Do you still have your boat? Wow, you're a real catch for me. Let's go. I didn't have any plans. And you're not afraid to go somewhere with strangers? Why should I be afraid of such a charming and handsome man? That's great. Then let's not waste any time. Get in the car. Let's go. I totally agree with you. Take me to your boat and we'll spend some quality time together. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to make such wonderful acquaintances, too. How do you like the car? You ever drive one of these? No, I've never ridden one of these. It's really cool. I love it. You haven't seen the boat yet. Three hours later. I'm so hungry. Where's mom disappeared to? My stomach hurts a lot myself. Mom should have been back by now. How long has she been gone? It's not that far to the store. Two hours, probably. Let's go see what time it is. Oh my god, she's been gone for three hours. That's too much time to go to the store and come back. Gotta go to Dad's and find out. He knows exactly where Mom is. Yeah, that's a great idea. He could call her and there'd be no point in us even bothering. Let's go quickly then or I'll starve to death. It's a good thing phones were invented. It's very convenient. It's true. Daddy can call and we'll all know perfectly well. Let's go tell him. Hey, Dad, we need your help. Are you asleep? Wake up. What's up, guys? Mikey and I are very hungry and Mom never came back from the store. Call her. She still hasn't come? How long has it been? It's been like three hours. Wow, I slept well. Let's go call your mom and see where she is. That's great. Thanks, Dad. What are you worrying about before your time? We'll call you and mom will tell you she's late. Oh, nice. We'll finally know when we can eat. And the stomach will stop talking to us. All right, I'm dialing. It's all coming out now. Waiting for her to pick up the phone. Yes, yes, yes. The number you have reached is not in service. 
Her cell phone must be off. What does that mean? Did something happen to her? I don't even know. Maybe her phone just died. Call again. Could it be some kind of mistake? There can be no mistake. It's a cell phone service. But I'll try it again. Hurry up and call quickly. Or it could be anything. All right, enough of this creepy talk. I'm calling. I wish she'd answer. The number you have reached is not in service. So what are we supposed to do about it? She won't answer anymore. All right, everybody, kids, settle down. Nothing bad has happened yet. I'll call the police and they'll take care of our problem. That's a great solution to the problem. It's better that way. It's going to be okay. Dad, I'm really worried about Mom. Don't worry. She's probably just delayed. Besides, the police are here. They'll take care of our problem. That's what JJ says. It's going to be okay. Now I'm going to open the door and tell them everything. Our dad is very smart and sensible. Good afternoon. Did you call the police? Yes, we did. All right. Uh-huh. Tell me what happened. Policeman, we're in trouble. Our mom left for the store three hours ago and never came back. We've tried calling, but her phone is unavailable. Okay, I see where she was going. Why was she leaving? She was off to the store. She had to get groceries for the kids to eat. Okay, well, we've been outlining the scope of the search a little bit. If you don't have any more information, we'll go look for it. Don't worry, we'll do our best to find her. No one in our town has ever gone missing. Try to find her, or we haven't had anything to eat. She's never been gone this long before. We're gonna do the best we can, guys. We went searching. Thank you, policeman. Let us know as soon as you hear anything. We will be sure to pass any information on to you. You don't have to worry. Okay, thank you again. Have a nice day. We'll be sure to find her. I really believe that these are not empty words, and they will really be able to find our mom. They can't promise for sure, but I'm sure they'll try. I have a lot of faith. Okay, kids, we've done our best. Go to your room. We'll wait for information. All right, we'll wait for mom. We'll see what else we can do for now. JJ, I'm really worried. I have a feeling she won't be found. Don't think about it. She'll be found for sure. You have to believe. Let's go to the room and talk some more. All right. Even if they don't find her, we'll go look for her ourselves. I won't leave my mom in trouble. I'll go with you. Although if the police don't find it, we certainly can't. It's already getting dark outside. It's okay. We'll figure something out. I promise you. Thank you. Don't go so fast. I'm scared. Don't worry. There's a pro driver behind the wheel. What a fast car you have. Wow. We're almost there. You're about to see my miracle. Phew. It was a wonderful emotion. I've never ridden like that. I'm glad. And now you can look and see where I've brought you. You'll be surprised. Well, what's in there? Ooh, huh. Oh, is that your big boat? Wow. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Welcome to my yacht. Make yourself at home. Now we're going on a short trip. I've only seen one of these on TV. I never thought I'd get to ride one in my life. I'm here to make your dreams come true, beauty. Thank you so much. You are beautiful. The next day. Do you really think they'll do a better job than the cops? This is the best agency in our city. They have found even the most dangerous criminals, and they'll find our mom in no time. That's great! Then let's go tell them about our problem. Let's go, but on one condition, I'll tell them myself. You just stand there and listen. No problem. Oh, I know him. That man was on TV. Said he was the best of the best. That's exactly what I was telling you. Come on, let's not waste time. Hello. Hello, we come to you with a big request. Greetings. What's up with you guys? We have a problem. Our mom didn't come home. Why don't you sit down and tell me exactly what's going on? All right, we're coming. Anyway, my mom went to the store yesterday and never came back. That's the way it was. We're very sad about it. Can you help us find her? Do you even have any money? Yeah, we'd give anything to find her. You're our last hope. Okay, guys, I'm gonna help you. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna find her. You just pay me and I'll do whatever it takes to get her home. Oh, that's great. JJ, give him our money. That's all the money we could find. Is this enough? It certainly not much, but I understand your problem. I can help you. You can go home and I will give you all the information I can find. Finally. Yeah. We're very happy. Thank you. All you guys go home. I'm going to do my job perfectly. Come on, Mikey. Thank you so much. We'll come home and wait for you and mom. You found a good specialist, JJ. I'm sure he'll help us for sure. It's true. Such people never leave ordinary citizens in trouble. Now we just have to go home and wait for our mom safe and sound. It's the right thing to do. Let's not interfere with the process. Now we've definitely done our best. All that's left is to wait patiently. Thank you for this wonderful time. I have never been so thrilled before. Lie back and enjoy the rich life, beautiful. I really liked you, and that's why I took you with me, to show you how I live. You're living beautifully. I'd live like this for the rest of my life. That's great. Thank you for this opportunity. So, how far I had to go to find her. So while the kids are worrying, she's vacationing on an island with a rich guy. What an ugly thing she's doing. Her family will know all about her. 
lying there and not even thinking about his family. What a horrible mother she is. But that's okay. We'll be without all of them in the end. We should take pictures of them and send them to the kids. Let them know where their mom disappeared to. I'm ashamed of her. And they'll decide what to do with her. Uh, JJ, you have no idea how much I miss our mommy. I hear you, Mikey. We all miss her a lot. I hope she comes back. Oh, what's that? That must be mom coming home. Maybe it's that detective coming in with his work summaries. I don't know, Mikey. Let's go open the door and find out who's ringing the doorbell. If it's our mom, I'm gonna hug her from the doorstep. No, I'll hug her first, and you're going to stand aside. She loves me more, so she'll hug me first. Let's open the door and see who she hugs first. Uh-oh, our mom's still not here. Then who rang the bell? I don't know. Maybe Maybe someone's dabbling. Wow, there's some papers in here. It's not paper, it's pictures with our mom. She's lying on the beach drinking cocktails. And why is there a cameraman lying next to her? I don't know. Those look like photos of the same detective. Is he saying our mom left us and is cheating on our dad? Looks like it. We need to show these pictures to our dad. I don't think he'll be happy about it. But he still has to see it. I'd be very upset if I found out a woman was cheating on me with some dirty cameraman. It's not cool at all to cheat on someone. She cheated on us too. She forgot about us, and we're still hungry, by the way. Mikey, all you want to do is eat. Stop thinking with your stomach. Hey, Dad, come here, please. Okay, Mikey. Hey, kids, I heard someone ringing the doorbell. Our favorite mom's here to see us? We have some bad news. What are you talking about? We have photos of that detective we hired. He brought his work. We're sorry, Dad. Sorry for what? Let's take a look at these pictures. Oh, my God. Is that my wife? With some freak? She's cheating on me? It's unfortunately true, Dad. She did a very bad thing to all of us. And how do you feel about about that, Dad. I'm gonna divorce that stupid woman. I loved her with all my heart, and she just spit in it. Now we're not going to live with that horrible woman. Then who's going to cook our food? Mikey, I don't care about the food. I don't want that woman in our house anymore. Yeah, that's sad. She cheated on all of us. I hate her so much. Here I am, kids. Did you miss me? I was a little late at the store. The lines were so long. So did you have fun? Ugh, why are you guys so sad? We all know what store and what line you've been in all this time. A what? What are these pictures? That's not me. Nah! I'll explain explain everything to no! you. JJ, we're kicking mom out of our house. You're a liar. You cheated on me with some creep. Go away. No one here loves you anymore. What? I've been set up. I was really at the store. Don't kick me out. Here are your belongings. You'll be staying with that cameraman. Wherever you want, just not here. Darling, please forgive me. I want to live with you. I love you. Go away. Mikey's already lost weight because of you. You didn't even bring food from the store. You're no use to me at all. Please forgive me. Give me a second chance. That's better. We'll do better together than with that lie. Don't worry, kids. I'll find you a better mom. Now I have to keep cooking your food. You can play in your room for now. Oh, and one more thing. There's some delicious burgers at dinner tonight. Oh, cool. Our dad's the best. I love you kids, too. What a cool dad we have. He doesn't cheat, he doesn't drink, and he makes burgers. We're very lucky to have our dad. He's the best in the world. Good thing such a bad mom won't be living with us anymore. And I don't feel sorry for our mom at all. Let her go wherever she wants. It was an interesting adventure. We'll come out here. Good day to you all. Thanks, Driver Bob, and you have a great day. Goodbye. Bye. So, kids, did you like the Oceanarium? Yeah, that was really cool. I really like that big tank with the white fish. Wait, white fish? Uh, I think you saw a penguin. Or it was a Navy SEAL. Yeah, I guess so. See, I told you it wasn't a shark. Let's go home. Yeah, hurry up, hurry up. JJ, would you like to go to the Oceanarium again? Yeah, I really liked everything about it, so I'd go again, maybe twice. Oh, finally, the comforts of home. Yay! Are you kids hungry? <gasps> oh, yeah, I'm really hungry. I'd even eat a whale. Wow. All right. I'll make a delicious dinner tonight. Wow. That must be something special, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I hope it's mega delicious. Mom, how long do we have to wait? Go play in your room, both of you. Okay, Mom. I'll call you when the food is ready. Uh, what about you, Dad? And I'm off to watch the Minez channel. Wow. I didn't realize our dad was watching us. So M-Y-N-E-Z channel. I'm sure he's already liked the new video. I don't doubt it either. Cool. JJ, what are we going to play today to make the wait a little easier? Uh, we can read books. What? No books. Uh. Look, they're cartoons. Uh, but Mikey... I want to watch cartoons and do nothing else. Have you forgotten? Hmm. Mom said we'd be stupid if we only watched cartoons all the time. What? Huh. The videos from this channel are drenched in so many adventures. Cool. Oh, is that a commercial? I click on the link and... Oh, holy TV, what is this? Whoa! <laughs> That's news. She's the best doctor ever. And she's waiting for anyone who needs help. <laughs> oh, and I'm definitely going to need her help soon. She helped me cure my, uh, cough. Yeah. Oh, this doctor is perfect. I have to meet her, she's my dream.
Three hours later. What's up, JJ? I told you this was a bad idea. Well, Mikey, we've been watching cartoons for three hours. Let's go. Yes, it's time to eat. Well, time went by fast, didn't it, JJ? Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess Mikey's probably right about the cartoons. Mom, hey. Oh, you're both just in time. Sit at the table. Oh. Now we're going to get so full of delicious food. I've worked really hard for you kids. Wow, Mommy, it really does show. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Daddy's here. Oh, it smells so good in here. Dad, join us for dinner. <coughs> Oh, my God. You know, I'm feeling uh really bad. My head hurts so much. Oh, honey, you probably have a fever. Daddy won't eat with us. I'd better not sit close to you or you'll get sick. Hmm. I'm going to go lie down in my room. Uh, Mom, what happened to Dad? Guys, Daddy's really sick. Hmm. I think it's very serious. It's going to be okay. Oh, I sure hope so. Mikey, let's eat already. Oh. Well, I'm full. Let's go. <laughs> Kids, it's getting late and it's time for bed. Already? So go to your room. But it's, uh, wow, it's so late. I'm going to go see how Daddy's feeling, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, honey. We should get going, too. I'm a little worried about our daddy's health. Oh, hmm. Mom was a little worried. That's not good. I don't think it's that serious. Huh, what? That's our dad. He's sure to beat all illnesses and get well soon. Yes, you're right. Let's have faith in his recovery. Okay, JJ. Oh, right. It's bedtime. Mikey, good night. Good night to you, too, JJ. Yay. And don't let our daddy get sick. Yes, I agree. Give him a speedy recovery. Uh, night. The next day. So we came from school. Mikey did something ridiculous again. I stole a burger from the school cafeteria. But Mikey, you can eat it home. Yeah, but it was fun. I can always eat at home. You can, but parents may be called back to school for doing so. Dad's in the hospital so I can do whatever I want. Stealing burgers, punching classmates, pranking again, and so on. Yeah, Mikey, you're a real bully. Ah, uh, sure, I'm a bad boy. Where is my beloved husband? I'm so worried about him. Could he have an incurable disease? Mom, what's wrong? Why are you sad? Our dad never came home from the hospital. I called the hospital, but they said they had not received any patients. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Listen up. If our dad wasn't in the hospital as a patient, then he's lost. We should call the police. They'll definitely find him. Call the police? I don't know. We should call the police. He's been gone a long time. JJ is right. Okay, kids. We should still call them. I'll do whatever it takes to find my sweet husband. Nine. One. One. Hello, it's the police. Hello, my husband is missing. Roger that. We'll start looking for him immediately. I'll come to you soon. Bye. Okay, the process of finding our dad has begun. Yeah, I hope they can find my husband. He's got a fever. He's so sick right now. Mom, everything's gonna be okay. I have a very bad feeling about him. Hello, it's the police. Open up. It's about your husband. A policeman has already come here. Yeah, he got here quickly. That was really fast. Hello, I'm Sheriff Mike Ermintrout. I'll be handling the search for your father. How long has your father been gone? He's been gone since last night. Come inside. We'll tell you everything. Okay, I'm listening to you very closely. Spit it out. Where he went, why he went, and so on. He got sick and went to the hospital. We haven't seen him since then. Okay, where's his room? His room is over there. That's where he lived and slept. Okay, then let's get in there. I have to take a look at it. I need all the information on him. Any clues or leads? He often sat at his computer, and yesterday he was sick. Well, I can tell you there's very little information on your father. We'll canvas the hospital where he was. We'll do everything we can to find him. But you, as the people closest to him, can help us. But how can we help? Yes, officer. How can we help find our daddy? We don't even know where he is. For cases like this, we put out ads to find missing people. Here's a stack for you. You have to post them all over the city. It might help us find this person. Posters. Okay. I hope these posters help you find your father. We'll return to the police station to continue the search. Don't despair and don't get discouraged. He can't just disappear. Good luck to all of you. Bye-bye. Thank you for your help. Bye-bye. Well, kids, let's go put these posters up wherever we can. Maybe some passerby will happen to see it and report it to us or the police. Yeah, let's go. Let's not waste another minute. I wonder when he had time to print out all those flyers. The police in our city work very fast indeed. I hope they find our daddy just as quickly. At least I hope so. Mom, do we have to put one poster on each wall? No, Mikey. We're gonna put a few on each wall. The cop gave us a whole bunch of these posters. We got enough to cover the whole town. There's a whole five pieces that will fit on this wall. Poor dad. I don't know where he is. Or maybe the evil Skibidi toilets kidnapped him and are doing experiments on him. JJ, don't say that. You're making me even more nervous. Okay, okay, Mom. Not a word about Skibidi toilets. Yeah, they piss me off too. Kids, let's keep putting up the flyers. Our town is pretty big. It's gonna take a long time. Yeah, it's a little exhausting. Yeah, but I miss him so much. That's what we realize. Where did our daddy go? Oh, is that our dad standing there with the flowers? What? With flowers? He's talking to some woman. But I'm not sure it's our dad. You can't see it from far away. No, that's our dad. That man really looks like our dad. He's also with some nurse. He's been complaining about his health a lot lately. Maybe he's been texting this nurse on the computer. Maybe. We'll have to check it out. Then let's go and check it out. I don't think my husband is capable of cheating. He's not like that. I love him and he loves me. My husband has always been a faithful and loving man. 
I don't know. After all these years of marriage, maybe he's tired of you. That's very rude of you, JJ. Anything can happen, Mikey. No, it couldn't have happened, JJ. My husband loves me. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh-oh. TV nurse? Top doctor? She looks too vulgar. That nurse was in the street. This can't be happening. It's already happened. Our dad is in a relationship with another woman. He swore he loved me. We were married. We had children. He can't cheat on me. But he was texting this nurse. This is some kind of mistake. No, it's not a mistake. It's treason. He's sitting with her somewhere right now. Okay, anything's possible. A nurse works in a hospital. We'll go to that hospital and talk to her. She'll say he's just a patient of hers. Mom, you're just hoping for the best. He's cheating on you. No, I don't believe you. He was completely healthy on the street, and he was so quick to chase after her. No, you're wrong. He's not like that. Now we're gonna go in and talk to that nurse. Come on, open the door. Talk to her. You'll see our daddy's not so good. Yeah, he's lying to you. No, you're both wrong. Mom is so stubbornly opinionated. Yes, I'm right. All right, let's get in the office. We're about to find out. What? Husband, what's he doing? He's kissing a nurse. Looks like the two of them are having a blast together. That's too bad. Mom doesn't like it. But how could he? I loved him. I would have done anything for him. He doesn't seem to care about you. He doesn't even notice us. He did a very bad thing. We need to calm Mom down. Yeah, you're right. How could he do this to me? To some nurse? He spit on my soul, our love, our marriage. It's all gone now. I can't see that man anymore. I hate him. Wow, our mom was very unhappy, I can tell. We couldn't even do anything to support her. And that lover is still kissing. How can he not be ashamed? Mom won't forgive him. Mom said she didn't want to see him anymore. Now we don't have a daddy. Yeah, it's going to be hard living without a father. Six months later. Dad's been gone for six months. He hasn't even come to see us. Yeah, Mikey. He doesn't seem to care about you and me or our mom. Yeah, he did a bad thing, but it's kind of sad to live without him. It's not a complete family. Mommy, do you want Daddy to get back from his nurse? Maybe you can forgive each other. I'll never forgive him. He betrayed me. He betrayed you. He has no place in our house. Wow, looks like you're still angry with him. Of course I'm angry. He hurt me. He's a horrible person. Yeah, well, Mom's right. He betrayed us. Not visiting for six months. That's bad. Yeah, Mikey, we won't forgive him. Oh, someone's ringing the doorbell. Who could it be? Maybe the policeman who found him? He hasn't visited us in half a year either. Hey, everybody. I'm back from treatment. I'm finally cured. I missed you guys so much. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? How are we doing? We're good. Yes, we had a very good life without you. Now get out. Yeah, you're not welcome here, Dad. Go back to your nurse. The nurse left me. I came back to you. We don't care. Go have an affair with a new woman. Get out, you traitor. How could you cheat on me with some creepy nurse? You're awful. We don't want to see you. Go away. You've only been here half a year. You're disgusting. Ow, you're hurting me. Don't do that. We'll beat you until you leave. Okay, okay, I'm out of here. Bye, everybody. Go away and don't ever come back. Look, it was fun hitting him. It actually made me feel better. He's so stupid. He came in after half a year and hoped for something. But Mikey's right. I feel better, too. Punching him in the face was a lot of fun. Now I'm in a good mood. Huh, that makes me feel better, too. At least we've gotten some use out of our dad for the last half year. I really don't want to see him again. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I've decided to move on. Our father's in the past. What's important is now. I can easily find a new man, and you're all grown up. You can live without a father. We will love each other, and all will be well. Yeah, Mom, you're right. Yeah, our mom's right, as always. JJ, let's go watch cartoons. Yeah, Mikey, let's go. With a good mood like that, we can keep having fun. I agree with you, JJ. Our favorite SpongeBob is on TV right now. At least now our dad won't forbid us from watching TV all day. We have to look for the good in everything and be optimistic. You have smart thoughts, Mikey. The next morning. Hey, hey, how's my favorite store doing around here? Mikey, we're at our dad's work. Cool. Yeah, look what I found on his desk. Oh, my God. He, he, he. Mikey, we can't drink that stuff. Calm down. I was just kidding. What's up, Dad? Hey. Oh, hey, I'm glad to see you here. Yeah. Look at this cool new product announcement I'm launching. Wow, Dad, you're going to make more money? Of course. More money, more opportunities. Cool. This looks interesting. It already makes me want to buy it. Huh, okay, enough flattery. Hey, speaker man. But I'm sincere. Uh. Hey. What did you come up with this time? Uh, Are you poisoning people with commercials again? Huh, is your store still empty? My store is better than yours. Oh, my God. He's mad because my business is more successful huh, than that's his. that's understandable. Hmm. Look at the line at the store. All these people love my store. Hey, everybody. Oh. Oh, hello, my bunny. Hi, Mom. Hey. Hello, my favorite children. Mom, is something wrong? This is something cool. I have great news. My good friend is coming to visit me. <gasps> wow, that friend of yours? Mom, who is she? Her name is Speaker Woman, and we went to study together. Wow, a study buddy. She's really cool. You'll both love her. I can't wait to see her. Wait for me. Oh, um, Mommy. My little bunny, did you hear something? Mm, no. Help me. Oh, Mom, we're almost home. Oh, my darling. What would you like for dinner? Help. I'd like a chicken. I'm so glad it's over. Where's Mikey? Mom, we lost Mikey. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? He's not with us. Look. Oh, no. Don't panic. I'm here. Oh, my God. Well, now that that's settled, let's go inside. I still have so much to get done. Uh, okay. Mom, how long till she gets here? Well. Let's talk about it in the house. Okay, Dad. Come on. Come in already. I'm really tired. I've been waiting for 
all of you. Huh, so mom, when's your friend due? She should be here any minute. Oh! Oh, I'm running out of time. Daddy, can you help mommy? Hmm. Oh, someone's here. Oh, that must be her. Mom, it's gonna be okay. Yay! Hello, my dear. Oh my god. Long time no see, girlfriend. Oh, holy beauty. Oh, uh, what? This woman is so beautiful. <gasps> uh, what's wrong? Hmm. Mom, dad's fainting. He was saying something about beauty. You go meet my kids and I'll wake this fool up. Mommy, daddy's so weird. Get up. Hello, lady. What kind of example are you setting for our children? It's okay, honey. It's just, uh... It's just what? I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, okay, hello. Hello, kid. You know you are a very beautiful woman. Oh, JJ, don't embarrass our guest. Uh, where did dad go? Oh, yes, that man. He's gone to bed. It's okay. What a blessing. I was worried about him. Hey, kids, show me what you got here. No problem. Our mom's friend. My name is Ellie. Wow. Our mom told us your name is Spaker Woman. There's a lot your mom doesn't know. <gasps> oh, why is Daddy peeking? What's up, JJ? Mikey, did you see that? What? Dad just overheard us talking. Let's take a look at the house already. Okay, okay. Hello? Hi. JJ, Daddy's in his room. It's okay. Hmm, uh, I definitely saw him there, but okay. Maybe you're imagining things. Maybe. You kids have such a beautiful big house. Yay, thank you. I'm even a little jealous. Oh, and that huge balcony. Wow. Don't worry, our house. It's your house. Yes, you can feel right at home here. Awesome. Thank you, boys, for such a nice welcome. You're welcome. We're happy to have you here. If you have any questions, tell us. Mikey, take your time. What's up? I still think Dad's reaction was a little too weird. He was probably just pleasantly surprised. Hmm, don't you think he's falling in love with this, Ellie? JJ, it can't be. Well, it could be. <gasps> Aren't you ashamed to say such words? Mikey. What? I just can't get out of my head the way he greeted her in the hallway. What if she was just his study buddy, too? No, I don't believe it. Oh, so, uh, JJ, you want us to suspect our dad of something? Mikey, no. Ouch. That's what you meant. He had hearts in his eyes. What else could it be? Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Oh, I really hope you're you're right. Hmm. We'll see what happens next. We're all gathered together for a very special dinner. Mikey, how's the food taste? Good? Yeah, it's delicious, JJ. Oh, I'm full. Thank you for such a wonderful dinner. By the way, I almost forgot about the gifts I picked up especially for you little ones. Wow, that's so cool, Ellie. I left them in the bedroom. Wait a little while and I'll bring them to you. Okay. Okay, okay. It's okay, we'll wait. What do you think she's going to give us? Uh, I want to help our lovely guest. The gifts are probably heavy. I'll go and help her. Uh, Mikey, don't you think that's a little suspicious? Yeah, I don't like this kind of behavior from our dad. That's what I've been telling you. Well... I'll quietly check what they're doing in there. Oh, hmm. Mikey, there's something weird going on, but I can't see it. I'm gonna get a little closer. Kids. JJ. Oh my God. Mom, what's wrong? Didn't I teach you guys to pick up after yourselves? Uh, come on, come on, clean it up. Oh, all right, Mom. Yes, Mom, we'll clean it up. Don't worry. No problem. And to make sure that doesn't happen again, okay? Yes, Mom. JJ, I got it all together. Let's go throw out the trash. Mom, we'll be right back. Mikey, wait for me. JJ, of course I'll wait for you. Nice. JJ, listen, you're right. Dad does act really weird when Ellie's around. Mikey, that's what I told you. <gasps> that's no reason to break down our fence at all. I'm too angry. Holy turn. I never liked that fence anyway. Interesting, interesting. Let's go take out the trash. Mikey, because of this friend of our mom's, we're gonna sleep in the attic with you. Oh, hmm. Huh. You think that's cool? No, I don't think it's cool. It's dusty and dark and I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. But at least we have a whole toy chest here. Mikey, that's cool, but wait a second, look. Oh, it's Ellie. But where is she going in the middle of the night? Hmm, that's highly suspicious. Let's follow her. Yeah, come on, let's be ninjas in the shadows. Oh, what? We're quiet and inconspicuous. Uh, oh my God. What's going on in there? They just kissed, Mikey. <gasps> where are they going now? I don't know, but we just have to follow them. JJ, just be careful. Don't worry. I'm the quietest ninja in the world. Okay, JJ. They're outside. Wait, why? Are they just gonna take off now? What? I don't think so, as there is no sound of a car engine. Oh my god. What is that? I don't think they're just having a nice chat in the car there. How could you, Dad? Oh. I wanted to be like you. Mikey, it's not worth it. Calm down. Okay, JJ, I'll just tell our mom. No, no, Mikey, wait. How can I wait in this situation? Hmm. Let's just say it in the morning. Now's not a good time. You're awfully right, JJ. Don't be sad, Mikey. I just can't believe Dad did that. I understand how you feel right now. I I feel the same way. We'd better get back to the room before we're discovered. Yeah, let's go. Oh, mommy, sleep sweetly. Mikey, I really don't want to upset our mom. JJ, mommy needs to know the truth, don't you think? Yeah, you're right, Mikey. Night. Good night. Tomorrow's a busy day. Mikey, we gotta go tell mom what dad did. Yeah, let's go tell her. I don't want this to go on. Mom, mom, there's something we need to tell you. Dad's in there. He's... Honey, I have something to tell you. I don't love you anymore. I'm filing for divorce. What? Why are you doing this to me? What's wrong with you? I did everything I could to make you happy with me. Mom, it's all her fault. She's the one who made Daddy go to her. It's all because of you. You chicken, take that. Ha ha, your husband will be mine. Now. Mom, be smarter than her. Don't fight, please. Hey, Dad, you, stop look it. What you've done. All right, it's TV all your woman, fault. get out of my house. I don't ever want to see you here again. What? That's it. Then we're leaving. Kids, get out of here, quick. We're not living here anymore. What? 
But mom, where are we gonna live now? Yes, mom, where are we going to go now? Don't worry, kids. I'll figure something out. And you can forget your stupid father. Mom, but how could it be? Are we gonna live on the street? I'm so cold, and it's raining! Mom, how long are we going to be outside? I understand you. Son, we're cold too. But you know what? The important thing is that we're all together, and we'll find someone better than your father. Yes, Mom, I agree with you. We'll definitely find someone better. Oh, look! It's TV Man! Hi, TV Man! Hello, TV Woman. Why are you sitting in the rain? We had a disaster. My now ex-husband kicked us out of the house, and we have nowhere to go. What? That's just awful. Let's go to my house then. I won't let you live on the street. Mikey, mom did just like she said. She found us a place to live. That's just great. I agree with you. JJ, we won't have to depend on our stupid father anymore. Oh, look, kids. It's just about to stop raining. That's a good sign. Yes, mom, that's a good sign. Wow, what a beautiful house. Is this where we're gonna live? Yes, you're going to live here. Let's go inside. Mom, let's go. Yes, I'm coming. Just thinking about my own thing. Come on inside. We're gonna get a tour. Come on in. Don't be shy. Look, this is the living room, and a little further the kitchen. The bedrooms are upstairs, not rich. But you can live, as they say, in a small, but not in a fence. The main thing is that there's a roof over your head. Thank you very much. We heard you have a business problem. Our mom knows about it. I'm sure she can help you. Mikey, let's go upstairs and play. Let's not disturb the adults. Mikey, look, there's a laptop. Let's play on it. Yeah, let's play. JJ, do you miss your daddy? Dad? No, I don't miss him. He hurt our mom. Now, I don't want anything more to do with him. Yes, you're right. He did a very bad thing to us, much less our mom. JJ, we have to get back at him somehow. Yes, but how? Let's give him the best publicity ever, so he'll have lots of customers. Yeah, let's do it. Mikey, help me. Okay. Guys, we came up with something. If you pull this lever, it will upgrade the store, and it'll become mega popular. Hey, you. Losers, how's your clientele coming along? A lot today? Or is one person a record for you? Ha 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 ha. Now we're going to find out who's the loser. Come on, get in the store. Our store is about to be updated. Guys, look at our store now. Let's open up. I'm sure we'll have lots of customers. Hey, Dad, how's it going with the customers? You got a lot of them now. Oh, no, my customers, where are you going? Stay, we'll give you a discount. Dear guests, come into our store. We have a lot of new and cheap equipment. Oh, no, how dare you take our visitors away from us? Mom, you're the best. Look how many visitors we have now. You did it. You're just a loser. How could I have chosen you? I'm leaving. Bye. Mikey, look. Ellie's leaving our dad. Hee hee hee. JJ, that's what he should do. He got his. Look, we've got all the customers. We're going to be rich. Yay. Kids, thank you so much for your help. If it wasn't for you and your mom, I wouldn't have this right now. Thank you again. A few moments later. We're all watching SpongeBob together. Our dad still loves cartoons. It's so cool. I didn't have cartoons when I was a kid, and SpongeBob is an interesting little guy. I agree with Dad. Look at that, a whole man. Indeed, SpongeBob is holy. <laughs> That's funny. I wouldn't want to be in holy. Well, well, well. Are you sitting around doing nothing again? Are you okay? Yeah, we like it. I think it's all unhealthy. We all need to take care of our health. But we're already healthy. I don't think so. What do you suggest we do? I suggest we all get a medical checkup at the hospital. I don't like hospitals. They give you shots. Oh my god, you're an adult and you're still afraid of shots? I'm afraid of those too. Oh my god, you guys are so difficult. We're healthy and simple guys. Hurry up and get ready. We're going to the hospital right now. Oh my gosh, my mom found a little sore spot and is dragging all of us to get treated. That's not true. Your mom just got a zit on her butt. Hey, don't tell the kids about this. Let's go already. Let's go, JJ. We're all sick. We need a miracle cure. I still think we don't need to do that. Try to tell that to our mom. That's it! Stop whining! You need to check your health at least once a year. Get in the car already! Why do we need to check on him so often? Something could happen and you don't know. I've lived my whole life without checks and I still feel fine. Because we're still young and my parents are old. They need to get checked more often. Oh, that's right! Old people worry about their ailments all the time. Friends, are your parents making you go to hospitals? Write about it in the comments. And I have to go to the hospital! Oh my god, Mom! I'm in trouble! What's wrong? I have a rare disease, an acute candy deficiency in 
my body. I need to go to the store and buy a couple pounds right away. Oh my god, Mikey. Don't be ridiculous. You really scared me with what you said. Two hours later. Here we are at the hospital. It smells like pills in here. It also smells like old people in here. Why do you two have to whine all the time? It smells fine in here. It smells like alcohol and ammonia in here. I don't like this place. I'm so sick of these kids. <laughs> Mikey, we're too nasty. Where do we go from here? To these medical offices? I don't know. We've. I don't know. We've got a doctor coming to see us. I wish I could get out of here sooner. It's so boring. Hello, I'm your doctor. Which one of you is the sick one? Hello, I'm the sickest. Treat me quickly. He's not sick. We're here for a routine health check. You're kidding me, kid. Yeah, I'm a real joker. Ha 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 ha. Mikey's the joker, and I'm Batman. You're coming with me alone to my office. But I want to go with my mom or JJ. Mikey, it's not gonna work. This office is for boys only. Don't worry, it'll be fine. You have nothing to fear in my proctology office. And who are proctologists, JJ? It's too early for him to know that. What are you going to do with him? I'm gonna check out his little hole. That's great. No one's checked Mikey's in there yet. Now come this way. This is the women's room. This is where you'll be getting your medical checkup, Mrs. Speaker Woman. That's great. All right, I'm out of here. Don't miss me. We'll wait in the hallway with JJ. Yeah, I hope we don't fall asleep out of boredom. Okay, go to your office and wait for me to come to you. First up is little Mikey. All right. Bye, everybody. I'll be back soon. Good luck to you, Mom. Okay, don't yell in the hospital. Apparently, this is a library since you can't yell here. We've got a lot of sick people sleeping in here. Wait here while I check out Mikey's young hole. What kind of hole is he talking about? You'll find out soon enough for sure. JJ. Okay, never mind. What are we supposed to do all this time? I'm hungry. Why don't you hold it until we get home? It'll take forever for Mikey to come out of his office, and Mom hasn't even been checked out yet. There are vending machines in there. Oh, what's there to eat? Uh-oh, this place only sells drinks, but I'm hungry. It's not a big deal. I'll buy sodas for myself, and you'll continue to starve. Oh, really? All right. I thought you were gonna help me. Oh my god. Not again. My Coke bottle is stuck. I paid two whole dollars for it. Don't get stuck please. That's it. Now I'm angry. JJ, we're gonna break that machine. Let's break it. Nah! 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 You stupid machine! Give us our sodas back. That's my soda. What are you talking about? Don't you want to share? Of course not. I paid for it. Hello. Looks like that vending machine chewed up the soda again. Let me help you. Uh, who are you? I'm a nurse. I work in this hospital. I'm here to help people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a pretty lady to help us. We've got a bottle stuck. Can you help? Yes. Nah, that's it. Wow, you've really helped us out. Here's your bottle. Don't hit that machine like that again, please. Okay, okay, okay. You are so kind and beautiful, you know. Uh, uh, what? You're actually married, Dad. One doesn't preclude the other, boy. You know, JJ, I thought you were thirsty. Here's a Coke for you. You can drink the whole can. I actually wanted to eat. All right, JJ, stay out of the way. These are grown men talking. Hey, cutie, why don't we get away from here? We're being overheard. What? Are you guys stupid? I can hear you from here. Listen, that's my nephew. I don't have a wife or girlfriend at all. I like you so much. Oh, you're so handsome, too. You're so funny and hilarious, TV man. Oh, that's good to hear, baby. Maybe we can have some privacy, just the two of us. Huh, that's a great idea. Patient, let's go to the pantry for a thorough health inspection. Oh, I like that! Oh my god, what are they gonna do in there? But it doesn't matter. Friends, what do you think? Which tastes better, Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola? Write about it in the comments. Oh my god, that was really painful. Mikey, what's up? You look tired. You have no idea what they did to me in there. They were sticking sticks in all my holes, JJ. Oh my god, Mikey, that sounds awful. I don't want to go in there. Don't go there, JJ. I'm burning up after that doctor. Wow, if you got something on fire here, cool off. Fresh and cold Pepsi Cola. Thanks, but I like Coca Cola better. There was no other. Drink what you're given. I have to go to the doctor. JJ, be careful. The doctor is very cunning and dangerous. Okay, I hear you. I'm not gonna let some doctor hurt me, Mikey. Where's he hiding out here? Hello, I'm your doctor. The patient before you was so squeaky, it was horrible. What did you do to him, doctor? I did to him what I'm gonna do to you, son. Um, I'm getting a little scared of what you're saying. What is that? Stick. There's no time to explain. Quickly take off your pants, turn around, and bend over. I give you my word, it won't hurt. Just a little bit. A little bit? Ow! Ow! Ah! No! Horrible doctors. I will not go to them again. You guys didn't even tell me what was going to happen? 
I almost died of fright. Come on, JJ. At least now we'll all know about our health. It's not funny at all. It's better to know nothing than that. Calm down, son. We're going home now. It's okay. That's great, Mom. Let's hurry up. I'm tired already. Then go to the car, guys. All right, let's get the hell out of here. For being brave, you get to choose what to buy for yourself. Yeah, you guys are great. So while we're on the road, think about what to buy. That's great. It's true. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. You're welcome. Even though it was scary, we'll get a present for it. There are upsides to everything, JJ. Let's get in the car. Let's go get some presents. You know what, though, kids? Let's go home. We'll get presents next time. And we were already so set on it. Almost picked out a gift. Even though we don't have a gift, we're on our favorite playground. Maybe that's even better. I like walking around here. It's true. The grounds are beautiful. What are we going to do here? I don't care what to do. We can swing on the swing. We can just jump and run. Do whatever you want. You know I can't get in there with you. Yeah, I know. But it's so much fun to mock you, JJ. Oh, is that so? Get downstairs and run. I will. Whoa, you hear that, JJ? I hear that, Mikey. What's going on out there? What's that noise? We'd better get inside and see what's wrong. Come on, Mikey. Let's not waste time in case it's robbers. Then let's go quickly. Although, maybe we should wait in case we're in trouble. We've got to run to help. Our parents are in there. It's true. Then let's run to their aid, brother. I wish everything was okay in there. How could you do this to me? What is it, JJ? That's Mom's voice. She's not happy. Let's go see if it's the parents fighting. Aren't you even ashamed to say that to my face? What kind of person are you? I'll be better than you, that's for sure. They're fighting really hard, Mikey. I don't want to live with you anymore. Children, come here. We're going to figure this out now. Kids, listen up. Who do you want to live with, me or her? Although, who would want to live with such a hysterical woman? Don't lie to the kids. Shame on you. Mikey, what do they want from us? You've been told everything. Choose who you're going to live with. Don't yell at them. Do you really want to live with someone like that? Don't listen to him. Just make the right choice. What are they even saying? How can we choose? <laughs> I don't want any part of it. What have you done? Mikey, don't cry, please. I don't want to be here. I'll get out of here myself. Is there an election here? Crazy. Mikey, please don't cry. Don't run away from me. We'll get through this together. Don't listen to them. Why are they doing this? I don't want to be here. I want to run away. The next day. Let's forget yesterday. Let's just eat, JJ. I agree with you. Why don't we get some more refills? There's a very large selection here. It's true. I would like to thank you, JJ. You helped me a lot yesterday. I'm your brother, Mikey. Oh, my stomach's acting up. It really hurts. What are you, Mikey? Overeating? I don't know, but it feels like I'm about to burst. Let's go to the hospital. They'll help you there. Where shall we go? Where we were yesterday. Let's run there already. Come on, but be careful. Otherwise, I won't make it. You'll get there, don't worry. Let's not waste any time. Wait, it's acting up again. The food's coming out now. Just hang in there, Mikey. We gotta get to the hospital. There's no point in standing around and holding on. Okay, I agree with you. Just hurry up, or the doctor's gonna have to come here. Oh, don't exaggerate. Come on, you glutton. Well, we're finally here. Now, where do we find the doctor? Who knows where he is? Now we have to look for it or wait for it. Someone opened the door. It's a pleasure to spend time with you, madame. You're beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Let's go back to the room. Daddy's hitting on the nurse? It looks like. Come on in quickly. Let's not waste time. Afraid I'll run away from you? I'm afraid we won't have time to enjoy each other. What's going on now? I guess that's why they were fighting so hard yesterday. How could Dad do that to Mom and to us? It's very ugly. What are we gonna do? Running and telling our mom about what we saw, of course. But what about your stomach? Does it hurt? Yeah. After I saw that, all the pain went away. Then let's go tell Mommy that Daddy's bad. The important thing is to hurt. Hurry up. JJ, I've never run that fast in my life. We're already outside the house. Hurry up and open the door and we'll go tell mom. How do we tell her that? Straight up, Mikey, as it is. There she is. Mom, we need to tell you something urgently. We've just seen that. Wait, what's your emergency? What's wrong with you? We were in the hospital right now as Mikey had a tummy ache. And there. And there's dad flirting with the nurse. And I knew he was lying to me the whole time. Oh no, mom's upset. But we'll be with you, mom. Isn't that right, guys? We don't want to live with a liar and a scoundrel. You're so good. I love you so much. Mikey and I love you so much, too. Thanks for telling us right away how it was. Thanks to Mikey's belly for that. Let's go sit together on the couch and sit together as a family. I am very blessed to have such beautiful sons. This is a happiness for a mother. So glad our family is now peaceful and everyone loves each other. We can watch our favorite show now. Yes, you've loved this show since you were a kid. I remember too. Let me give you a room tour. Huh, JJ, there's nothing to show you. Well, I can show the audience my toys. Toys, that's not interesting. What do you think people would be interested in then? Hmm, well, this should be something interesting. Hmm. Look, the 
news on TV is interesting. Hmm, well, I doubt that everyone's interested. But JJ, TV is in every home. Well, yes, that's a fact. Which means everyone likes to watch it. Hmm, I doubt that very much. Well, hmm. Kids, it's time for school. Oh, Mom. Hey. Have you packed all the necessary things? Uh. Textbooks, notebooks, pencil case? Mikey, do you think we're ready? I've been up all night studying for class. Uh. Oops. Hmm, JJ and Mikey, please get a good night's sleep. Anyway, we're ready. Great, then let's get in the car. Huh, JJ? And I'm still not going to sleep. But why are you doing this? JJ, that's just cool. Uh, I don't think so at all. Kids, I'm going to take you to school now, and then I'm going to run errands. So I'll pick you both up from school today, a little later. Oh, hmm. Uh, okay. Get in the car, everybody. Okay, Mom. JJ, it turns out Mom's not going to be home. Hmm. Oh, I was wondering what important business she'd be away on. I'm curious, too. Let's go. Well, here we are. Wow, JJ. Oh! This is your new school. Wow, Mom, this school is so big. Yes, and also this school is very prestigious and expensive, so study hard. Oh, my God. You promised me that, JJ. Yeah, sure, Mom. You didn't forget about me, did you? Oh, uh, no. Mom, I'll study hard, too. Now we have to go. Bye. Oh, Mikey, I so don't want to go here. Uh, Mikey, wait a second. What? Isn't Mom acting suspicious? Hmm, seems to be business as usual. Hmm. JJ, if we don't hurry up, we're gonna be late for class. Oh my god, hmm. I don't like it. What's wrong? Mikey, don't you realize her job is that way? Well... And that way is another residential neighborhood. But then why did she go there? That's what I'm telling you. Oh, hmm. Let's follow her. But JJ, we have to go to school. It's our first day here. But Mikey... I don't think that's a good idea. But it's weird. Okay, JJ, we're not going to school today. Yeah. Let's see where our mom went. Let's go. But we can't just walk through. The gate's locked. Hmm. Maybe we can get over the fence. And the fence is really high. But we have to at least try. Hmm. Not here. Oh, no. It's useless. Is there a fence around here somewhere a little lower? Oh, no chance, Mikey. Oh, no. I hope no one sees us from the school windows. Do we have any other choices? JJ, I don't see any other options. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to go to class. Oh, we can't get over the fence, but maybe we can get under the fence. Oh, I take it all back. There's an opening. Uh, I don't know who had the idea to do this, but thank him. <laughs> Let's take this opportunity to skip class and find out where mom went. JJ, we're not skipping class. We're just on an important mission. Huh, what? It's like we're super ninja spies. Huh, okay. Oh, hmm. Huh. We managed to get off the school grounds. Well. But where's mom's car? JJ, look, there's bicycles. Oh. We're gonna ride those bicycles and follow her. You're right, Mikey. It will be much faster this way. We're gonna be like the Flash. Uh, okay. <gasps> oh, no. We're gonna be Ninja Flash. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Huh. Let's get going already, JJ. You're right. We've been looking for a way out for too long. We need to hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. I hope mom isn't too far away. JJ, I hear a car horn. Follow me. Wait, what? I didn't hear anything at all. I have super hearing. I'm a super spy. Stop it, Mikey. Okay, okay. JJ, look. Oh, she's really coming this way, not home. She's really not going to work. Okay, let's go. I got a really bad feeling about this. JJ, hurry up. I'm already losing sight of her. Oh, Mikey. I didn't think about the fact that her car is much faster than us on bicycles. Phew, we've actually arrived in a residential neighborhood. It's pretty nice in here. And by the way, it was super hard. Oh, JJ, we're almost there. I'm exhausted, Mikey. JJ, there's our mom's car. Look. Well, now I'm just totally confused. Hmm. What important business could she have here? Maybe she's moonlighting at home. Tell me she works there as a janitor. Oh. She's got a good job, Mikey. Mm. She doesn't need that. I'm just trying to figure out why she's in such a beautiful and surely expensive neighborhood. It's really very strange. We just have to find out the truth. Huh. Well, we've already dug up some truth. Huh, what? This is 100% her car. You're sure? Which means she stopped the car where she is right now. Do you think she's in there? Yeah, I think she's in this house. Wow. Huh, I feel like a great detective. Let's go, JJ. Wait, we're just gonna walk onto the property now? Mom came in here, so we can come in here. Well, that's true, but I don't think it's right. Do you think it's right that she's hiding a house this big from us? Uh, no, Mikey, I don't think that's right. I heard something. But I don't see anyone here. JJ, I did hear something from here. Uh... There's gotta be someone here. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, no. Don't tell me it was all true. Oh, my God. 
She's dating another man. <gasps> we have to tell Dad right away. Oh, my God. Mikey, don't yell. Oh, I'm just shocked. Kids, it's not what you think. She spotted us. What do we do? Let's get out of here. Mom, you're doing a very bad thing. Let's hurry before she catches up with us. Oh, Daddy's going to be so upset when he Look finds out. out. Wait, let me explain everything to you. No, Mom, we'll tell Dad. Let's go. Hurry up, Mikey. Kids, it's just a misunderstanding. I don't believe you anymore, Mom. I don't believe you either. You lied to me and Mikey and Daddy. Mikey, JJ, wait. Oh, my God. Mom, how could you do that to Dad? You've got it all wrong. It's just a friend of mine. Really? Kids, wait. No, Mom, I don't believe you. Hurry up. Mikey, hurry up. We're pulling up to the house. I hope Dad's there. Who's going to tell Daddy that Mommy has a new boyfriend? JJ, come on this time. You're going to say everything. I'm scared. Let's go inside quickly. Mikey, why are you afraid to say anything? You know, I don't like quarreling, yelling, and stuff like that. Okay, let's go inside already. We need to tell Dad everything faster. Daddy, Daddy, come here, quick. Yes, Dad, come here. We have something to tell you. Kids, why are you shouting? Did something happen? Mom's in there. She's... Kids, could you go to your room? Mom, is there something you want to tell Dad? Honey, there's something I need to tell you. I have another man. Sorry. I hear you. Then we need to talk in private. Okay. Kids, go to your room. Mom and I need to have a serious talk. Yeah, JJ, let's go. Let's get out of their way. JJ, why are you standing there? Let's go! Mikey, wait for me. How do you think this is gonna go? I hope everything goes well with them. Yeah, I hope so too. What? Did you hear that? There's a cymbal crash and a lot of screaming. I'm really worried. What are we going to do? I don't know, Mikey. I guess we'll just have to wait until they calm down. Yeah, that would probably be the best solution. Three hours later. Mikey, do you hear anything? Hmm, no, I don't hear anything, which means it's over. JJ, let's get downstairs. We have to find out what they've decided. All right, let's go. Hey, JJ, why are you standing there like a statue? Aren't you interested in what they decided? Of course I'm interested. I'm on my way. Honey, please forgive me. No, you've already made your choice. Mom, why did you pack your bags? Are we all going somewhere together? No, you and Mikey have to make a choice. You stay with Dad or you come with me. I'm staying with Dad. Okay, JJ, you'll stay with me then. Mom, you don't have to leave us, do you? Why don't you stay with us? And we'll live like we used to. Oh, son, Daddy and I thought it was for the best. I understand you're staying with Daddy, too. Well, I think it's best for everyone. I hate to leave this place, but I don't have a choice. Well, goodbye. I'll miss you, Mikey and JJ. Mom, please, don't go! Goodbye. I love you, my kids. Oh, no, Daddy, what's wrong? Why did Mom leave? Kids, I'll tell you everything later. Don't worry, everything will be fine. What? I need to be alone for a while. I'll go. Don't worry, things will get better soon. I promise you. Mikey, are you okay? Look at the picture of us together. We were so happy with Mom and Dad. Maybe we shouldn't have done all this. I don't know, JJ. I hope they make up and Mom comes back to us. Let's go rest in our room. Yeah, let's get a break from all this. Six months later. Honey, I came home. How are you? What? What's going on here? Who is that? And what is she doing here? Darling, let's tell her everything. Yes, I agree with you. TV woman, I have to tell you everything. The thing is that camera woman and I have been together for a long time and I can't hide it. You have to go. Oh no, it can't be. I left my family for him. And he did this to me. Maybe I can get my family back. I'm going to go see how they're doing without me. I hope they are doing well. Unlike me, maybe I can get back to them after all. I'm going to go watch them through the window. I'm so sorry I did that to them. I wish there was a small chance of getting things back to the way they were. Mikey, it's so cool to spend time with our dad and his new girlfriend, Speaker Woman. Yeah, I think so too. She's a cool girl. I like her a lot. Yeah, I like her too. They seem happy without me, but I'm still very happy for them. I'll probably go. I won't spoil their fun in case they notice me, though maybe they've already forgotten that I'm their mom. How did I manage to ruin my life so quickly? Could it be for all my sins? Who knows?